Welcome everyone to the Main Street Sports Show, live from the Haskell House in downtown Clarion, PA, and live on exploreclarion.com, sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet, uh, Dubrook, and M&B uh, for all that good stuff. Uh, we have a good show tonight. I'm out your host, Owen Kreps, and we're going to be talking wrestling tonight. So I had to bring in my co-host, Ken Staub. Ken, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Um, we're going to be talking with uh, Clarion, uh, the Clarion area, Wildcats, four members of their program, including their head coach, Bron Gorley, uh, tonight as well as three wrestlers that will be brought in tonight. Should be a good show. Should be. They're coming off a big win, so hopefully they're up for this. Absolutely. Those wrestlers being Mason Gorley, uh, Bron's son, Josh Beal, and Logan Powell. So we'll have that coming up here um, in a bit. But let's we'll start off with just our, our general uh, wrap-up uh, intro segment. Um, today is February 1st. Today is the first day of February. Groundhog Day will be tomorrow. I know we got some people covering that down in Punxsy, but uh, uh, we'll do uh, today in sports history. Um, it's Super Bowl kind of season, uh, if you will. Today in sports history, back in 2009, the uh, Steelers, 15 years ago, won their last Super Bowl as of right now, unfortunately speaking. Do you remember that one? You remember watching that game? 2009. Was that against the Cardinals? Cardinals, yeah. This is the San Antonio Holmes game. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a Steelers fan. <laughs> so, well, I mean, just from the area and, from the area and things like that. Um, that happened 15 years ago today. Also in, uh, in sports history today, the Patriots uh, won Super Bowl 38, and the Patriots also won Super Bowl uh, 49. Super Bowl 38, though, that was the uh, Janet Jackson halftime show thing that, uh, that happened. Um, Super Bowl is coming up uh, this, this, uh, in a couple weeks here. Uh, Pro Bowls this week and then next week. Uh, it'll be the 49ers and the Chiefs. Uh, any interest in that, or is some not a fan of at all? Uh, I'll go with the Chiefs on that simply because my brother yeah. used to have tickets to the Chiefs games. Absolutely. Um, and then just continuing on, uh, while we have the time, uh, also in sports history today, um, Tom Brady announced his retirement two years ago today, twice, or, and then he, he did it on the same day, a year ago today and two years ago today. So... Maybe he'll do it again. He'll come out of retirement again and do it again. Uh, in Pirates news, or uh, former news, Barry Bonds signed the, uh, the single longest contract at the time in MLB history, or sorry, single year highest uh, contract at the time, highest paid, $4.7 million on 2004 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. We all know how that turned out with the uh, drug use and all that stuff. But are you a Pirates fan? Uh, I'm a Baltimore Oriole fan. But uh, MLB fan in general. You remember yeah. watching Barry back in the day? Yeah, I, 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 the, the vivid clip that stands out for me is when Leland blew up at him in spring training. Mm -hmm. and That was right after he signed that big contract. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but like we said, we're going to have a good show lined up. we got four athletes, or three athletes and one former athlete uh, all coming up for uh, you guys in our interview segment show. Those are all coming from Clarion Area Wrestling. They just... Uh, merged uh, officially, I mean they've merged before, but now they're officially the Wildcats. Yeah, uh, at the beginning of the season, that was uh, one of the big new, big pieces of news. Uh, uh, they changed their name to Central Clarion, which I think was uh, a good move because it better reflects the schools that are feeding into it. And, you know, if a kid doesn't necessarily want, want to wrestle for Clarion, now they wrestle for Central Clarion. The Wildcats, it's, all, it's been a complete rebranding, and I think that's been good for uh, the program. Here. Absolutely. Let me see if I can name all of the four schools there. Keystone, um, Clarion Limestone, North Clarion, and Clarion area, right? Okay. Yeah. Just my newest to the area, so i gotta, I got to get all my schools down. But, yeah, I've been up two wrestling meets this year. They had that meet on Monday, uh, which was also senior night, and slash it was kind of like elementary kids night as well they honored uh, their youth program a lot of kids there um so yeah it was definitely good to see the, the turnout there for for both ends of the, the spectrum there yeah it was I, I was talking to braun before the match and it's probably one of the best attended clarion central clarion matches i've seen as far as attendance go people were loud it, it was a real fun atmosphere i hope that continues I didn't stay for the entire entirety of the game. Who ended up wanting to take the match? Uh, was, but. Uh, Central Clarion down Red Bank Valley. It was uh, tied going into the next wow. to last match. And Matt Austin came up big for Clarion. Uh, Brookville or uh, Red Bank Valley, they had to pin to have a chance. And Matt ended up taking a 10 nothing major decision. Um, he was clutch again. 
Absolutely. And then this, uh, this upcoming weekend, uh, we'll be previewing as well. We, we can talk to them in our interview segment. Uh, the District 9 duels are coming up, so that'll be a big talking point as well. But that'll all be coming up on the Main Street Sports Show, live from the Haskell House, and sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet. A division of M&B Group is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete as well as concrete supplies along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic, Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. No matter how cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable, you can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. And welcome back to the Main Street Sports Show, sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet. I'm your host, Owen Kreps, and I'm joined by Ken Staub. We're going to be, join, or we're going to be going over... Uh, it's just some general sports headlines before we get to our main interview here with Bron Gorley and three of his athletes uh, from Clarion Wrestling. Um, obviously, the biggest news in the sports world right now, national sports world right now, is the Super Bowl coming up. Um, decent conference championships games. I, I know a lot of people wish they went the other way. Uh, Baltimore losing wasn't too bad for us here in this area. Um, but San Francisco pulled it off, and the Chiefs are back in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, I, I think the... Uh more interesting facet of the uh, title game might be the over/under on how many times they show Taylor Swift on yeah. TV. Yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be interesting. We got a lot of people are comparing her to being like, oh, a first-time fan, well, or supporter with with Travis Kelsey, and then there are all these other sports fans that have had years and years and never even seen a Super Bowl. Taylor Swift's been with the team for what, like seven months right now, and she's already getting to the. The championship. It has been a long time coming for the Chiefs. It's been 11 months since they've, since they've won a Super Bowl. So <laughs> I, I don't know who I'm rooting for uh, necessarily. I just, I'm just going to watch the game to watch the game because it's the Super Bowl. Uh, I wished for better teams to be in it, like uh, just from in terms of like an entertainment value. But Patrick Mahomes is pretty good at football, and I guess he deserves to be there, of course. But who do you got? You said earlier you got I'm, the. I'm going to root for the Chiefs. Root for the Chiefs. I'm not going to root for anyone, but I think the Chiefs will win it. There is a. Uh, the Super Bowl will be in Las Vegas, where I used to live. And there is a. When they were building Allegiant Stadium, which is the stadium this will be played on, one of the uh, construction workers is a diehard Chiefs fan. He buried a Chiefs flag underneath Allegiant Stadium. So if that's not gonna, any indication of who's going to win, uh, it's literally Chiefs ground to play on. So they've. Allegiant Stadium is hosted is about to host more uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs playoff games than Raiders uh, playoff games ever, and that's their home stadium. So 
Yeah, it's kind of sad. Moving on to the NHL, my strong suit. Nothing is going on this week because it's the All-Star break week. I was at the Penguins' last game against the Canadians. It was a fun overtime victory. Uh, Marcus Pedersen scored the overtime goal, but do you watch the NHL All-Star game or anything like that? I, I completely checked out of the NHL yeah. several years ago. As, a, as an NHL fan myself, I can also say I do not watch the NHL All-Star game. It's just overblown and not much goes on, and it's just the same stuff over and over again. Sidney Crosby is the Penguins' only representative there, as is tradition. He's 36, but still, um, yeah, that's pretty much it on NHL land. Um, and then for the Pirates, a uh, couple of decent news uh, tidbits, given that it is the offseason. We talked about Aroldis Chapman last week, but um, Andrew McCutcheon was named the uh, uh, Pittsburgher of the Year, which is a fitting title for him. And then also uh, Paul Skeens, the first overall pick uh, from this past draft. He's been invited to Pirates camp, so hopefully he can make a, make the team potentially. Yeah, anything they can boost that pitch, the the pitching rotation, I'm all for. I yeah. think that's their weak link, and they improve that. They can make a little noise. With the Penguins kind of meddling out, and the Steelers kind of just always being mediocre, and the Pirates are kind of on the rise. I know it's the Pirates, but they're kind of on the rise. I feel like all three teams in Pittsburgh are almost at the same 500 level right now, where it's. Not super exciting to root for them because the Steelers might Steelers are mediocre. The Penguins are going down, only going to get worse as Crosby ages. Pirates are going up. I might get, I might be excited to watch them this year, but again, it's the Pirates. And it's, well, the thing about five hundred, that's like a win for the Pirates. Yeah, I oh, mean, absolutely. That, that, that's they started great, the they started the last year off like roughly five hundred, and we were playing in the parade, everything, but. Uh, and then one last thing, uh, obviously the Pittsburgh Steelers did make a pretty decent move this past week. They hired uh, Arthur Smith, is that his name? Yeah, yeah. As, the, uh, as their offensive uh, coordinator. So what are the chance gonna be? Fire Canada, fire Smith, like we're already, like that's the number one guy to blame um, if you're a, a sports fan. But I can already see uh, people online already getting a little eh, mixed reactions to it. Former head coach in uh, Atlanta, former offensive coordinator in Tennessee. Any thoughts on that? I mean, everybody's banking on what he did two or three years ago with Tennessee mm -hmm. as opposed to his more recent record. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have to figure he had his hands in that Atlanta offense. So I don't see how you can so readily dismiss the past couple years. Right. What, I, what I found the most interesting part of that story was his dad owns FedEx. Really? Yeah. Oh. So ship the ball to the end zone. That will be the plan. But uh, that will wrap it up for our national sports uh, segment. But let's talk about local sports. Uh, how many games did you hit this week? I know you were at the wrestling match we talked about earlier on Monday. Did you hit any other wrestling matches or games this week? Nope. I, I was there uh, Tuesday night for the uh, Clarion Red Bank Valley match. I, I, and uh, this week I'll be spending uh, Saturday at the District Duels. Mm, which we will talk about later with our, with our guests coming up. Very important matches for, uh, for all of them there. Uh, for me, I was at that, that match on, was that Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Okay, it was Tuesday, okay. And then last night I was at uh, North Clarion versus uh, Keystone Boys Basketball. That was a good game. It was at a 10 point differential uh, for a bit, but North Clarion kind of just fell uh, apart in the fourth quarter. Uh, and then uh, Keystone took that game. Uh, so it was good to see uh, Greg Heath, our last guest, uh, in action. It was the first game I ever got to see, and I got to see the Heath Gymnasium for the first time, so that was neat as well. Um, but yeah, uh, any, uh, anything else uh, coming up big here? I know we got KSAC playoffs for boys basketball and girls basketball coming up as well. Uh, I, I think there's a couple interesting things coming up on the local sports scene, uh, at least from the wrestling perspective. Uh, next week, the Red Bank Valley girls are going to be hosting a tri-meet. And then the week after that, this is going to be on EYT, uh, and that's going to be uh, uh, Red Bank Valley girls against Kerwinsville in re uh, wrestling, and I believe that will be the first District 9 girls dual meet. So uh, I'm excited. I believe Mike Kalinowski are going to be, and I are going to be heading down there, so I'm real excited to cover that one. Absolutely. That, uh, those broadcasts brought to you by Lutton's Plumbing and Heating. We'll take a quick break here and we'll come back for our feature segment of the night, our interview with Ron Gorley and his three uh, students of the game and uh, wrestlers at Clarion Area. Uh, this is the Main Street Sports Show. I'm Owen Kreps. We'll see you in a bit.
Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins Road in Clarion. Call us toll-free at 1-800-262-2118. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran-owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 Series on Facebook and Instagram. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Protect your home or business from all those sneaky pests. Give Hugh Henry's Pest Management a call at 814-316-1875 or check them out online at bugguy.com. Pest Management, where nature and technology meet. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Welcome back to the Main Street Sports Show, sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet. I'm Owen Kreps with Ken Staub, and we're going to be introducing our main guests for the evening. We'll start with Bron Gorley. Bron, how you doing? Welcome going to good. the Main Street Sports Show. Thank and, you. Thank you. Uh, how's the wrestling season just going overall? How's Coach? Uh, the wrestling season is going very well. It's been exciting. Uh, we have a lot of changes this year, as you alluded to. We're the Central Clarion Wildcats now, so with that, there was a lot of preseason work that we had to undertake with uh, new uniforms, new renovation of the practice room. So we got a, a lot of help from the administration, Dr. Carrico and the school board, uh, put a lot of effort and money into that to get us the new mats. Um, the prior to the season to get the uh, money we needed from the booster club to buy the new uniforms. Uh, some of the guys are wearing them here tonight. Uh, and, and that had to go for all levels so we just weren't fundraising for the varsity junior high youth program that you guys alluded to uh, was uh, was all in need of new uniforms so that was a a big undertaking even before the season started and you're joined by tonight by mason your son josh beal a senior and then logan powell uh, how are you guys doing tonight and how are excited for you guys uh coming up for uh saturday uh, i'm doing pretty good i'm pretty excited for this saturday i'd like to see what we can do district nine duels is big event. We've been there last year, we were there last year, and we didn't have our greatest showing. Hopefully we can get a better showing this year. What will that take, Josh? Um, I just, you know, a lot of hard work is going to have to be shown on the mat. Um, every last ounce of energy that we have, basically, I mean, we're going to be going up against Brookfield in the first round, and they just showed in this past couple of days that they're a good team. I mean, they just beat Port out in the and they did so by downing the two young kids, which are, you know, tough matches. So pretty much to beat them, we're just going to have to show up with our best game. So you guys, you guys have had a successful season so far. 11-0 um, was at least what I have down. Um, 
and and two and zero, or in the how's I don't know how it's all organized with your guys's region and things like that. But uh, what's what have you guys built off of this year, and how how's how does that success happen essentially? Uh, it it's as Josh said, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, these three guys here and a lot of the guys on the team put in a lot of work in the off season, which has uh, the results have shown this year. Um, we talked about it at practice today, just where we've come as a team in the, over the past couple of years. Uh, the, uh, oh, you know, you go back to the 2019, 2020, the, the COVID year, uh, wrestling was down. Our numbers were down. Um, a lot of numbers were down, but uh, I think that season we ended up finishing the year with four or five, maybe six kids on the varsity roster. So uh, it's taken an effort to get the kids back. It's, it's a tough sport to get kids to, number one, come out, and two, to stick with it, especially as they get older and uh, uh, are inexperienced. It is a tough sport to jump into right away. So uh, these guys have helped recruit, and uh, we put on a, a pretty good uh, recruiting effort. Some of the coaches went to the other schools. Uh, we went to North Clarion. One time, we have, uh, with Coach Weiser up there as the athletic director, that has helped uh, tremendously. He's uh, been working the hallways trying to get some North Clarion kids. Uh, uh, at CL, we've, uh, our numbers have grown at CL. Uh, Logan is from CL. So Logan, CL, Josh, Keystone, Mason from Clarion here. Um, out at CL, we have some uh, wrestling fans out there as in the administration. Robson Tobin's out there and has helped us uh, with, with that. And uh, you know, Josh at Keystone, we have a few Keystone kids that have wrestled for a long time. So that's, uh, that's helped bring some new kids in the room this year. So that was uh, our first goal was, number one, we need to get uh, some new uniforms. Uh, number two, we need wrestlers or, or, uh, to, to help the program grow. Absolutely. And then this is just your first season uh, as a head coach, uh, Bron. Um, just how is it? I know this isn't your first coaching wrestling in general, but at yeah. the varsity level, of course, um, Coaching this team, coming together as a, under a new banner, what's that been like? Uh, it's been exciting. Uh, we, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I've coached a lot of these kids coming up through mm -hmm. at the elementary level, working with Mason and uh, Logan, um, and coached them in junior high. I, I, just the way the circumstances worked out, uh, it wasn't a position that uh, I was looking for, but uh, with some when uh, Coach Weber moved up to the varsity, um, there was an opening at junior high. And that year, I think, Mason, you guys were in eighth grade, right? Yeah, eighth grade. So um, the opportunity came. They needed somebody to fill the position, so I stepped in. And I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, a good group of kids that work hard. So um, last year, uh, I was a junior high coach. So I was a junior high coach for three years. Three years, now that I think about it. And uh, with Coach Weber uh, stepping down as the varsity coach, uh, it was uh, the next step for me. It wasn't something that, like we had talked earlier in the week, wasn't something that I was a uh, position I was looking to or striving to fill that role. It wasn't my life goal, but uh, it's been fun. And it's uh, with the kids showing up working hard uh, and winning helps. It, you know, don't get me wrong, it, it keeps the morale up, keeps the kid coming back. So. Uh, their hard work is shown and it's paying off, and we hope to carry that into uh, this Saturday. Mason, what's it like having your dad as coach? Um, I don't know. I, I like it. It's it's easy access. I know if I forget what's going on, then he's there to tell me. But I don't know. I like having him because he knows like the right amount of work, and like he know he keeps me in check a lot. Make sure I'm doing everything right and. I don't know. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Any questions you want to ask? Yeah, uh, I, I think this has been one of the, the more exciting weeks for Clarion Wrestling, Central Clarion Wrestling uh, in recent memory. Not only did you have that exciting dual win, you're 11 and 0. Uh, Logan Powell uh, cracked the state rankings for the first time this season, it came in at 24th among uh, 133 and the team cracked the state rankings for the first time and I don't know if that's ever been done uh, but you're at 30 so how does that make you feel Logan being ranked 24th? 
Well, you know, it's it's great, but um, I've put a lot of work in, and yeah. it means a lot to be ranked. But I just got to keep dreaming bigger, and I'm going to keep climbing the rankings and hopefully get to states this year. It's been the main goal. Okay. And wh what does it mean for you, Braun, to have the team enter the uh, double A rankings this season? Uh, it is a big deal to us. We talked about it at practice today. Um, it was never a, uh, a goal for us this season. Being the team we had, I, I knew we had some talented guys and we had to fill some holes. Uh, and some of the guys have shown up, worked hard, and got better. But uh, I didn't expect it. Actually, Mason texted me today and said, hey, uh, the new rankings are out. Did you check them out, the team rankings? I said, no, I didn't check them out. But uh, you know, he, he let me know, I think, we're, 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 we're on the rankings. I'm like, couldn't believe it. 30th, they're going to rank in top 30, but we'll, we'll take it. And uh, it, it's good. It's, it adds to the excitement. It adds, you know, the kids, we talked about it at practice today, the hard work that they're putting in. I said, you're getting the recognition, but it doesn't stop here. We need to, we need to uh, uh, keep going down the path. Um, one of our goals we talked about this year was obviously going to the district duels and uh, winning a match there. Uh, Clarion hasn't done that in a long time. And uh, we're, we're going in as a three seed. Uh, Clearfield's number one. Uh, Port Allegheny's number two. And we're, we're the three seed. So um, we got Brookville. They're a six seed. But like uh, uh, Josh had said, they're, 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 they're a very good team. They, I think they've won it the past 10 years in a row. Uh, yeah. 10 plus, maybe. It's 10 years in a row. Yeah, and they, like they just said, they just beat Port this week. So um, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have to you know, we're gonna have to be at our best uh, and better, frankly, better than when we wrestled Brookville and beat them earlier in the year. I told these guys like we that was in the past. They're a new team. We're a new team. Uh, we're hoping to uh, have the result we want there on Saturday at 10 o'clock over Brookville. What, one of the things you mentioned is the theme was hard work. And I know Logan wrestles a lot in the off season. I know Mason does. But one of the kids that I think sitting up here has put in a lot of hard work is Josh. Uh, I've covered Clarion wrestling for a number of years. And I remember when Josh was a freshman. And to see Josh as a freshman versus Josh now, where he's definitely stronger, his techniques improve. Josh, could you just tell me a little bit about the work you've put in? Um, I wish I could say it was something special, but really it's just paying attention in the uh, wrestling room and putting in the hard work, and then outside the wrestling room, going to the weight room and hitting it hard. And um, something Ken didn't mention was as a freshman, I was considerably rounder than I am now, which <laughs> as a heavyweight, it's a hard thing to say, but it's true. And um, yeah, so it's just putting in the work in the weight room and getting that off season conditioning. And then when you actually get back to the wrestling room, paying attention, working hard, and then proving it out on the mat. I wasn't going to mention, the ride. <laughs> I, I thought it. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now, are you guys locked in? You guys are you guys pre-scouting everything on, on who you guys are gonna be wrestling against this uh, this upcoming Saturday? Essentially, we know the matchups. Uh, we we usually talk about matchups uh, at the end of the practice prior to the meet. So we'll look at matchups tomorrow. Um, th there's a lot of good matches, a lot of tough matches, and, and when you get into the district duels, it's it's uh, essentially it's one and done. So you want to try and get the best matchups. And for the coaches, it's a little bit of a chess match as to who weighs in where. And, uh, and, and the, the coin flip prior to the match, uh, who has to send out first, who has to present first. Sometimes that literally wins or loses matches, as Ken knows. Is if, if that coach gets the strategy he wants, uh, they can win the match. So there'll be a lot of that. Not just with our match, but with all the matches Saturday, which makes it exciting to watch. You see some matchups that you, you don't anticipate to see, which makes it exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Klepper will move kids all over that lineup. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, that's been like tradition. You can see him figuring it out. So mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to see what matchups do come out of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, Coach Klepper, if you're watching, if you can. Let Ken know what you're going to do, and then 
and could maybe pass it on to us, but you know he's not going to do that. <laughs> well, good luck this Saturday. We'll be take a quick break, and then we'll be right back here for some more questions for our wrestlers and wrestling coach from Clarion area. This is the Main Street Sports Show, live from the Haskell House and on ExploreClarion.com. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there, Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know, Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center, family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. U.S. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran-owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 Series on Facebook and Instagram. Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Welcome back to the Main Street Sports Show. I'm your host, Owen Kreps, and I have to remind myself to get gas on the way home. I'm here with Ken Stab, and we're going to continue our interview portion with our wrestlers here from uh, Clarion area. One thing I was curious about, just for, well, this is kind of an everyone question. Uh, we'll start with Mason. How'd you start wrestling? What got you into wrestling? And then most importantly, what has kept you in wrestling? Because it's a hard sport to, to stay in. Um, I, I've been wrestling my whole life, ever since preschool, I, since I was four years old. I wrestled mostly just in the winter, but I always enjoyed it, and I still enjoy it, mostly just because it's like an individual thing. Like, it's taught me that what you get into it is what, like, what you put into it is what you put out, what you get out of it. So, like, if you're not working hard at practice or off of the mat or doing anything like that, then you're going to fall behind some people who are doing that. So I really like that. I like take that into other sports like track and other like anything I do. I know that if I put the hard work in, then I'm gonna get good results out of it. So that's what I really like about wrestling. Josh. Uh, well, it's basically a family tradition. Um, wrestling's been in the family for three generations now. One on my mother's father, he wrestled in Maine, which is. Uh, not PA. Right. So, and then my dad wrestled, and I know you're watching this, so I apologize. He was either a one or a two time state champ. And my brother wrestled, and he was a district champ. So basically, it's just kind of flowed down through the bloodlines, and it's gotten to me now, and I'm just carrying out family tradition. Shoes to fill. Yeah. Logan? Um, I got a kind of different, uh, like, intro story i i honestly thought it was going to be like ufc that's that was like back in first grade i used to like watch that stuff and i honestly thought that's what i was getting myself into but obviously that's not what it was and i i've just kept doing it i don't know the individuality of it i just you get to do whatever 
like your moves, your game plans, your and then I've had a lot of success and I've just kept doing it. And then Braun, I know you wrestled when you were in high school. Did you ever expect to be coaching when you were no. that age? No. No, not at all. No. Uh, uh, what, I know you said it was a matter of circumstances that has led you to coach, but I'm sure, yeah. like, to, if the, to these kids, like, any advice if they want to potentially become coaches? Um, just to stay involved in the sport, not necessarily coaching right away, but uh, the overall love of the sport. I mean, we have. Just thinking of our coaching staff we have there today, uh, we have myself, uh, we have uh, a student at the university that wrestled on the team, Hunter Verge, uh, who was, he's from Vermont, he wrestled in Vermont, and uh, Ken knows him as well with the, with the team. But also on the junior high level, we have uh, Coach Mikey LaFay, who wrestled at Clarion. We have Kyle Cathcart, who wrestled at Clarion. Uh, we have Cam Slyke, uh, who's our, uh, assistant on the varsity level wrestled at clarion so uh, you can see that our program there's guys that uh, truly love it and uh, enjoy the sport and and either volunteer their time or, or get paid very little but they're there because the love of the sport so that would be my advice just to uh, you know always pay attention with college wrestling with freestyle wrestling um, it, it's it's a great sport Okay. Uh, we've talked about how Logan works in the off season. We've talked about the work Josh has put in. Now, Mason, you had uh, a pretty interesting off season. Went to uh, Fargo for the uh, uh, 16U Freestyle Nationals, and you were part of the Pennsylvania team that won it. You went four and two, I believe, at that tournament. Can you tell me about that experience? Um, it was a cool experience. I've always ever since I got into freestyle wrestling, which has been I think seventh grade, it's a different form of wrestling than what we wrestle in high school, but I've always wanted to go out to Fargo and it always amazed me. And being there with like, you're on like the PA team, which I thought was really cool because PA, we win it like every year. So it's pretty fun to be successful in that way. And I don't know, there's a lot of really good kids from P the PA team and you're on a team with them and you get to watch all the high level wrestling out there. And I went, four and two I was I almost medaled out there which I going in like that was a goal that I had but I knew it'd be very hard to do and I came close so I was very happy with my like, performance out there and I got to learn and watch other people and just the arena there was amazing so I, I really enjoyed it and you know speaking of successive tournaments Logan you just place third at the Ultimate Warrior Tournament, which is probably one of the toughest to in-season tournaments around. I mean, it's stacked with competition. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, definitely had a great showing. Um, would have liked to have been in the championship match. Just got to do a few more things right and be right there. And the guy that I lost to won it. So I mean, right there, right in the contention to win the tournament. But. Um, just I had a lot of success you know especially like after the first period there was a few matches where I just I just was just kind of like flexing after the first period I was getting up by a lot more points and just felt more comfortable in my matches and Josh you also placed at that tournament you were fifth uh yeah oh sorry I was eighth eighth okay I won't I won't take the fifth place from him. but yeah it was a good tournament for us um and for me, it was good. I beat a kid that was ranked in the state ahead of me, which is a new one for me. So I'm definitely making progress, and I'm working my way towards being one of the top contenders. Just, you know, as Logan said, I need to work on a few things and get some things right, and then I'll be in the running for that. Now, Josh, you're a senior. Mason's a junior. Are you a junior as well, Logan? You're getting, you guys are all upperclassmen. Um, have you guys thought about wrestling after high school um, or just – Staying in the sport, like Bron said. I, uh, the the school I chose to go to after high school doesn't offer wrestling. Okay. Um, I also don't know if I could wrestle with that caliber of person. I mean, that's literally just a different breed of human, and I don't think I can contend at that level. In all Logan. Honesty. Um, it's definitely gonna have to have some thinking, but I'm I'm definitely thinking the way of wrestling towards in college. I've definitely thought about it, and. I'm, maybe look forward to wrestling in college. Mason? Uh, yeah, I think 
I want to wrestle in college. I've it's been like a dream of mine, but as I'm getting older now, I realize that like my education will be more important. Like I'm gonna look for a school that has what I want to do, and hopefully wrestling too, and I can get on the team with them. So. Everything. Do anything. No, I, you know, uh, I I think uh, Logan brings up a or uh, Mason brings up a good point, uh, especially when you get to the college level. Uh, wrestling, you do have a limited shelf life on, and you do have to prepare for that world afterwards. And I know uh, I talked to Coach Gorley at the beginning of the season, and you were talking about academics and mm -hmm. how important that was at the high school level for the for these guys. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We and we just talked about that more today uh, as a team, just eligibility and the importance of your grades and, and if you're ineligible, obviously you can't wrestle. So that's something we want to, and overall the team's done a great job with it this year, but next year that's another one of our goals is nobody's going to be ineligible. We're going to, we're going to help the kids that need help or make sure they're doing their work. So uh, that's always a, a very important goal. Now everyone here has been involved with the sport of wrestling just for a long time. Um, how have you seen the game change over the years? Um, Bron, we'll start with you. Uh, it, Styles are different. If you watch, if, you, if you're a wrestling fan and people uh, that know wrestling know that even 15 years ago, the style of wrestling, the moves that these guys do uh, at all levels is even at the youth level, they, they mimic what they see at the college level. Uh, and there's, there is, uh, even in high school, we were just having a uh, talk about it before we came here when we were eating dinner, just some of the very high level high school kids that are out there. It's, it seems like there's a there's a lot of very good talent, uh, you know, n not as much in the middle, and then there's uh, you know, some some kids, some some newer kids. Where even when I was in high school, you had a solid team of you know 500 wrestlers, but I know Ken can can uh, speak to it. Even at the Clarion Open, which is a tour college tournament that happens up here in November, we had high school kids winning that tournament, beating some very high level kids. So that's it's just that's that's the change that I've seen is the style and just some of these very high level kids at young ages. And you know, uh, Jax Forrest just won a college open as a sophomore in high school this yes. past su Sunday up at Lock Haven. Uh, yeah, and that's one thing Mike Kalinowski and I talked about on our broadcast is you know, wrestling looks the same to the casual observer, but it's actually changed. You know, I don't know when you were back when I wrestled back in the 80s you wanted to keep distance between yourself and your opponent now you want to bring them in mm -hmm. yeah different styles for sure I don't know if you guys have seen any want to add to that changes I don't know I just think with like I mean I can't speak on how it was like before me but based off what people say there's like a lot of kids are wrestling in the off season now and that's like showing with how these high school kids are just some of the high school kids are just insane with how good they are just beating, like, the number one, at the Clarion Open, the number one ranked guy was beat by a high schooler, and he's, like, number one in the country for college. That's, like, a football team beating Alabama or someone like that. So, I mean, that's basically unheard of, and I think that's just showing how good these high school kids are getting, and that's from all, wrestling all year round and all the training they're getting, so... Absolutely. We'll see some of those kids uh, this upcoming weekend. I uh, we wish you guys the luck, uh, best of luck there. Um, we're going to wrap it up uh, for this segment. We'll be back for one more second. What second? One more segment with our uh, with our in studio uh, guests. This is the Main Street Sports Show. We'll be back in a bit. Dubrook, a division of M and B Group, is your trusted local ready mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services, large or small, for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Protect your home or business from all those sneaky pests. Give Hugh Henry's Pest Management a call at 814 814- 
316-1875 or check them out online at bugguy.com. Pest Management, where nature and technology meet. How cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable, you can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Larian Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. My name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. Welcome back to the Main Street Sports Show. We've got Clarion High School wrestlers with us right now, but going on elsewhere, uh, we have Clarion University Wrestling. They're up against Lock Haven right now. I know it's a very important meet with a lot of rivalry in there. How's that going? I know you've been keeping track. Yeah, I've been keeping track. A lot of bad blood between Lock Haven and Clarion. I, I think people don't understand how big of a rivalry that is. Uh, Clarion uh, trails by a point. It's 11-10. It's sort of been back and forth all night long so uh i know getting updates at the commercial break mm -hmm. so hopefully that'd be a big one yeah absolutely and then switching back to our high school wrestlers how how closely do you guys follow clarion university and just other areas uh, of wrestling in general uh i follow clarion university i try to go to all their home matches and i have done that for a while and i'm allowed to go into there's this thing called like a RTC, which is a regional training club, I think it is. And you can go in during the off season and wrestle in the university's like wrestling room. So I usually take advantage of that because you can, I don't know, maybe get some insight from some of their coaches or wrestle with their athletes. So it's a good experience. So I like keeping up with that. Are you guys in that program too? Do you guys take advantage of that? Uh, I also went to the RTC at least this past summer. Uh, I worked a lot with Ryan Sullivan in the off season. Um, he's got a pretty big match tonight against Lock Haven. Hopefully uh, he gets the job done there. And uh, I always try to go to as many home matches as I can at the university. I remember uh, one year I went to the uh, EWL championships at Edinburgh after a youth tournament. That was a, that was a good time. I'm not as involved in the area around here as these two are. But I do kind of keep tabs on some Oklahoma State University wrestling since that's kind of where my family's from. And uh, them in Iowa, which are some, you know, big contenders in the yeah. Big Ten. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll switch over now to our, our fan-submitted uh, questions. Um, and this first one here, 
this is just one that I have for all of the kids. And it's, I mean, Bron can even answer it as well. Staying in weight. I know you guys just came over from Bob's Sub. How tempting is it and how challenging is it to stay in your weight class throughout the entirety of the season? Um, it's, it, it can be rough at times, but um, it, it's not like we don't eat. I mean, we still eat. It's just, you know, instead of like, eating junk food you just eat more quality food that keeps you full and so you don't have to run on the treadmill more but definitely you know after weigh-ins you know it's not sometimes I'll get my electrolytes in or maybe like throw a Kit Kat in there or something you know it shouldn't be eaten but I do it anyway hang on wait your turn I uh as a heavyweight I have a lot of wiggle room I go from 215 to 285 and weighing in at 250, I have even more wiggle room, so I don't really have to worry about oh, cutting nice. as much as these two do. So that's a little bit of a flex I have in the wrestling room when people see me and they're not too, too happy about it at all. No. Uh, I've been on and off with injury this year, so I haven't had too much weight cutting to do. But I think weight cutting, it's all about like how you do it. Because I know I have a lot of friends in the wrestling world that they'll they'll meet their weight and then they'll just completely eat the rest of the weekend as much as they can and they'll come back in they're like nine pounds over and they have to cut nine pounds in two days and then they're suffering and that's I think that's where all the bad rap comes from because you most wrestlers who are complaining about like their weight cut are irresponsibly doing it like if they just ate good the entire time then they wouldn't suffer as much as they do when they're nine pounds over because they ate, I don't know, a bunch of McDonald's that weekend or something like that. Right. So. You have a question? You want yeah, to uh, I, I think they're exactly right. It's how you do it. You know, you don't want to walk around outrageously heavy. And I, I think that weight cut, the weight cut gives this word a bad rap, but if you do it correctly, it's okay. Uh, this one's kind of a hypothetical question, and we talked about it earlier before the show. All four of these wrestlers here, who would win in a in a match if it was like Logan versus Braun, or Josh versus Braun, or Mason versus Braun? And we'll let Braun answer first because I think he knows the correct answer. Uh, you said in the prime, in the prime, in, in the prime, yeah, in the prime. <laughs> okay, in the prime. I got um, that that detail. Yeah, I mean, there's not not a lot of video footage of me in my prime, but. <laughs> I'll say it's that, so yeah, I'll say that it, it would, by far away, would be me. Yeah. Yeah. I challenge these guys in the room every day, but nobody steps up to nobody the challenge. Does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, that's a pretty one easy question to answer. Oh, of course. Exactly. Any, any rebuttal? Um, Too scared to? Actually, last time Mason and I wrestled, I pinned him. Nice. Uh, I think I was yeah. like 11 <laughs> when that happened. He is, ever, ever since he is, every time I ask him, he just says, no, so I think he just wants to go out on top. It's, he knows right. what happened now. My career's over. <laughs> Who are your guys' uh, practice wrestling partners usually? Um, they're usually like someone close to your weight class. Right. So like I, I would go with like Jake Henry, who wrestles 160 for us. So he's usually my partner. And I don't know. I have to speak for everyone because I already know. Beal goes with uh, Matt, 215. And then, I mean, Lewis with a bunch of people different or usually right like Grayson Aaron or yeah, I'll with Grayson, like 90%. yeah Grayson so he's a 27 so usually you try to find someone that's like close to your weight class or like the same weight class or touching your weight class mm -hmm. or, a lot of internal competition though in practice I'm sure um it depends we don't some days there some is days, mm -hmm. some days we have to split them up because you know there's, there's a comfort level there that mm -hmm that uh, you get some new partners and switch it up. That seems to help on some days. Anything? No, no, I mean, it, it's, it's interesting who you guys ch have as practice partners because I think overall, everybody's been raising everybody up. I mean, Jake Henry, I think, is over 20 wins already this year. Uh, Matt coming through in the clutch. and. Uh, Wyatt and Grace and Aaron you have all come up. I think, you, you, have you guys found yourselves helping each other rise to the occasion? They help you and you help them? 
Um, yeah, I think so. I think a lot of people have made a lot of improvements. I know Jake certainly has, and Matt. I mean, Matt last year was 500 wrestler at 172, and he got a little bigger this year, and I think that was like the best thing for him. Now he's, I don't know, like. He's probably um, close to 20 wins. I think he was 17-7 yeah. or something yeah. like that last time he I looked. He has a lot of wins, and I think he's sealed four dual meets for us this year, which. And I knew he was even on like the Verge wrestling this year, and he come, comes out, and now he's so successful. So yeah. I think that shows a lot of growth. And I don't know if anybody else wants to talk about it, but no, I don't know. I well, don't. We, we are going to wrap things up here. Um, no, I've, thank you guys for coming on, and of course, good luck this Saturday. Um, I know you guys got a big match there, but uh, thanks for coming on the show and chatting with us. Thank you. Thank you for Absolutely. having us. Absolutely. We'll be back after a quick break for our wrap-up segment. This is the Main Street Sports Show on ExploreClaring.com. A division of M&B Group is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete as well as concrete supplies along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Welcome back to the Main Street Sports Show. We're going to wrap things up here and we're going to start with the, well, we're going to do the only thing we do in the segment, and that's preview this upcoming week, the rest of this week, essentially. Now, right now, it's Thursday. Right now, we mentioned that a uh, wrestling match is going on right now between uh, Clarion University. How's that going? Any, any more updates on that? Uh, still 11-10, wrestling at 125. And then also going on right now in high school sports, we got uh, Red Bank Wrestling is at Brookville. Uh, boys basketball, we got Red Bank versus Carn City. And then girls basketball, Clarion plays at home versus Kane. Clarion Limestone is home versus Union. Tomorrow's uh, boys basketball games for you. AC Valley plays Clarion at home, or sorry, Cranberry at home. Girls basketball, Red Bank will play Elk County, uh, and we will be at, at that game, at least I will and Mike uh, Kilroy. Uh, North Clarion will play Otto Eldred as well. And then to wrap things up on Saturday, wrestling, of course, we mentioned our, our guests. Uh, Clarion will be at Brookville. Red Bank will be at Dubois. Uh, Red Bank girls will be at North Allegheny. And then boys basketball, uh, North Clarion will play Ridgeway at 1.30 for a rare Saturday matchup. Any of those matchups uh, particularly stand out to you? Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, district duels. It's a full day of wrestling. I know uh, tomorrow, uh, on uh, D9 Sports, I have a preview prepared uh, that'll be getting published. So give fans a little bit of look at all the teams and what to expect. Um, so yeah, and that'll, that'll wrap things up. Our next show uh, on the Main Street Sports Show will be with Dave Eggleton from Clarion Football. Uh, that'll be me and Mike, uh, or me and Mike Kilroy, or Kalinowski actually, I think that's one of the mics um, has that. But that'll wrap things up for the show this week. Thank you all for joining us. And uh, we'll see you guys next uh, next week for the Red Bank Valley Chevrolet, not Red Bank Valley, Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show, live from Monty Sport Clarion and from the Haskell House.